Hello Aries, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the tarotempress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading now, so I can imagine that a lot of you must have thought that I've forgotten the Aries reading. Well, I haven't. So I've shuffled out some cards and we can begin. Okay, so the first card that I have is talking about the importance of practicing compassion. So this card is emphasizing the need to see things from a fresh perspective. Could be incredibly important during this period of time, especially if you're dealing with a relationship or a person that, you know, there might have been a lack of compassion for in the past, right? So I feel like during this period of time, even if you're a cross watcher, it's incredibly important to be kind, to be good, to be nurturing and to realize that even the most offensive people, the people that are, you know, hiding behind walls or have this sort of reserved energy towards leaping towards relationships, essentially, you know, they are the most vulnerable. So the next energy I'm looking at is emphasizing the importance of not letting the past hold you back. So whatever that means to you, if you have a situation or perhaps you've had a few experiences that were negative. I feel like it might be important to let them go and not to tie certain situations, events, or people to a certain chapter in your life, you know. If you need to start a new chapter, if you need to live in the present, if you need to do things differently than you used to, this is a good starting point to start doing that. Right, now... The next energy I'm looking at is showing to me that your life, your love life in particular, relationships, they'll be taking new directions. So this can mean a whole range of things. But I feel like at the end of the day, you know, when it comes to life and when it comes to these sort of big decisions, you can't really say which direction you're going to go in. I mean, life has its own ebbs and flows. Sometimes life will take you to you know a certain place and you need to grow learn and gain wisdom from that place and sometimes you'll move along you know so it can be very adventurous it can be very exciting change is always a wonderful thing and I feel like if you don't really know then how will you ever you know not live with that regret so I feel like when it comes to your relationships when it comes to big decisions there's going to be some new directions taking place. The next card is emphasizing the rhythm of life and how it all plays along. It's as if, you know, you give so much to relationships, you put so much hard work and effort into your career, your family, whatever it might be. But you also need to rest, you also need to relax. Finally, I'm seeing the energy of a card which is saying that you know, you are on this process of discovery. And as you take this journey, you know, you don't really have a choice in certain instances, but in some cases you do. And during this journey, you're going to, you know, gather memories and gather experiences. And, um, you know, some of you may have to ask yourself some important questions, like what are these experiences? Going to teach you you know for your next chapter so let's begin your tarot card reading what are the most important messages for aries when it comes to their love life Now, the first card that I'm looking at is highlighting that someone is feeling trapped. Someone is feeling a little bit stuck. Could be you, could be the individual you're dealing with. I feel like someone could be in denial over what is happening or what is going on. There's no reason to stay in this place of stagnation, this place of denial or self-doubt. 
you know, it could be you, it could be the cross watch, it could be anybody, but it might be time to get out of that place of redundancy and not getting anything done. If you really want to walk away from things that have been stunting your progress, your spiritual growth, this could be the time to do so, you know. So it's important to identify patterns, behaviors and things like what do we shelter ourselves from? What do we hide away from? You know, why not confront these things head on? And this shouldn't be too hard as an Aries individual, of course, some of you are wired differently. You will take your own time. It will depend on your moon placement, your Venus placement, etc. But the key thing is, you know, once you're able to identify, you know, what went wrong, how you can make it better and how you can move forward, that's the most important starting point. Now, the next card is showing to me an ending. Might have been a relationship that ended at some point. Might be an, a relationship that is on the path towards an ending. But, you know, I feel like there's an inability or a difficulty to let go of someone or something. So I feel like the key thing here is listening to your intuition, listening to your inner voice, you know. And uh, sometimes the heart can make you do the most impulsive things. And sometimes you can follow your passions to the ends of the earth. But, uh, you know, the most important thing is to listen to your inner voice, your instinct. What is it telling you, you know? I feel like this is a very important time to trust your gut. And when it comes to individuals, when it comes to people, you know, if you feel like something has potential or it has a chance of blossoming into something more, then why not investigate it and have a closer look and see you know, perhaps your doubts in the past were not really on proper foundations, you know. So it's all about taking a closer look, but also applying the wisdom you have gained over, you know, uh, the journey that you're on. I'm seeing your worry and grief. Now, this could be the energy of the person you're dealing with. It could be your energy as well. But I'm seeing as someone is struggling to sleep, someone is having some sort of worry on their head could be you could be the individual you're dealing with but it's pertaining to a breakup it's pertaining to the end of something obviously it's not over it's not finished because it's coming up in the energy you know it's not a done deal yet now i see that you might have had some choices in the past you might have met somebody that was very exciting possibly attractive someone that you really was fond of this can be anybody right and i feel like you might have been stuck in the middle for some of you. You might have been dealing with choices or you could have been trying to, you know, not be in that sort of situation. Perhaps you didn't want to be the third party, etc. It could be a range of things, but, you know, something like that happened at one point in time. For some of you, this could have been meeting um, a soulmate, could be a true love, a twin flame, whatever it could be for you, whatever you are attaching in terms of the title but i see messages coming through i see movement i'm seeing momentum i'm seeing lots of passion lots of cupid's arrows lots of uh, excitement you know so this could be some really exciting fast action you know it can mean a range of things it depends how you interpret it how you want to interpret it but usually when i look at these two tarot cards together i see passion i see um you know, basically seduction, things of that nature. So the next card I'm looking at is showing to me a sense of victory. You know, it could be the individual you're dealing with feeling a sense of victory, it could be yourself, but I feel like you're on that path. You're on that path towards finding your happiness. Lots of romance and love coming in, right? Could be you extending love or someone extending themselves to you. It's a beautiful energy, you know. It's a really freeing sort of energy. Now, the key thing in this situation is to not only be strong but to also be vulnerable so someone could be holding back you know they could have this inner beast that wants to jump out and ravish you could you know want to do all sorts of things but i feel like someone is holding back and you know i don't really feel like it's necessary at this point in time the card in the outcome is indicating lots of passion lots of excitement following one's heart you know so i feel like the two of you will find your way to one another there's a very strong connection here. Whatever ended in the past, clearly it's not over. Pointless to worry, pointless to have fears, grief, sleepless nights, because I see the energy clearing up in this beautiful way. 
but I also see a lot of harmony, a lot of peace, a lot of, um, you know, passion in this situation. And that's what life is about, you know, following your heart, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed your tarot card reading. Enjoy your weekend and have a wonderful day. Take care.